हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द वर्किंग ऑफ अ डोमेस्टिक रेफ्रिजरेटर नाउ इर रेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ एनी मैन्युफैक्चर द रेफ्रिजरेटर साइकिल it works on vapor compression refrigeration system cycle and this is the general schematic diagram of the domestic refrigerator it is having few components such as evaporator compressor accumulator condenser filter dry and capillary now the general domestic refrigerator that we are using at our homes it looks like this only like the volume can be less or more depending on like we are having 200 liter uh, refrigerator or 338 liters and more so the size of the freezer can vary but the overall working it remains same so here in this video i will be explaining you the working so the evaporator coils they are placed at the top like it surrounds this freezer compartment and the refrigerant it cools the air in this region so the lowest temperature of the freezer is at this point in the freezer section here we generally keep ice creams or uh, other refrigerated foods like here the temperature is below 0 degree celsius near about minus 10 minus 20 degree celsius whatever we set all right so the air is coldest at this point in this region now we know that once the air gets cooled so the density will increase so the current convection currents are set up within the freezer so the cool air from the top it circulates downwards and displaces the fresh air from the bottom and this air it rises up this air it is warm it is it rises and the cool air it descends now we keep the fresh food somewhere in the middle so here the temperature range is around it is more than 0 degree but less than 20 degree so 0 to 20 degree food like uh, general food we keep in this compartment all right at the bottom the temperature of the freezer is the maximum like around uh, more than 20 degree so generally we keep fruits and vegetables in this region this compartment so this is the vegetable compartment so irrespective of the freezer irrespective of the refrigerator first at the top most we are having the freezer compartment here the evaporator coils coil is there then the air descends at the bottom and at the bottom we keep the fruits and vegetables which require higher temperature for storage all right here it, it is the defrost button which is shown by push button now after some time of working the evaporator coils they can get condensed the air get condensed the water vapor and the air it gets condensed near the vicinity of the freezer so frost forms now we have to remove that frost so we push the push button and this tray we are having a defrost tray and the water it gets collected we are having heaters that supply the electric current that is i square rt the energy is supplied heat energy is supplied through the current and this melts the ice that is formed after some time the water it drains and we take out in drain pan this is a drain pan and we throw the water manually nowadays advancement technologies are used so that this drain water it it is absorbed within the freezer itself that is it gets absorbed evaporated and we don't want to like manually do this work earlier and uh, most of the freezers now also they are having manual drain pans so we collect the water after defrosting and we throw it and again push the put the tray back and again push the this button thermostat knob is to set the temperature of the freezer all right so now let us understand in detail about the working of the component so this is the back side of the freezer where we are having condenser and at the bottom we are having the compressor and somewhere in between we are having like coil that is the capillary tube 
the compressor function generally we are using reciprocating or rotary type compressors it compresses the refrigerant gas so general ph chart we are using so this is the compression process from 1 to 2 in the compressor 2 to 3 heat is rejected from the back side of the freezer from the back side of the domestic refrigerator from 2 to 3 from 3 to 4 it is expanded in the capillary and from 4 to 1 heat is absorbed in the evaporator all right so this vcrs cycle it is applied here now two other components are there dryer and the accumulator so dryer as by the name you can understand that dryer is to capture any liquid droplet before it goes into the capillary tube because it can clog the capillary tube and it can prevent the refrigerant from flowing in the capillary tube all right so it is placed between the after the condenser so it is called liquid line filter dryer general term all right and accumulator is also used now accumulator it prevents the liquid droplets from going inside the compressor so it it allows only the vapor to go inside the compressor so I think this video uh, you understood the fair working of domestic refrigerator if you found this video helpful please share this video please like this video and please comment for any suggestion feedback and please share this video do subscribe if you have already not subscribed and I would be seeing you in the next video till then take care bye bye